Hello, it's Meets Cameraman and Jack from BAM, and we're back here for the first of December's updates. And well, historic day as well today, Jack, with the uh, link bridge uh, being filled with concrete. So, how's things have been going? Yeah, really well, to be honest. There's quite a lot of operations been happening. Um, like I mentioned in the last progress tour that we did, we combined both of the shifts into one now. Um, okay. So, we've kind of got double the amount of resource in the daytime work, and it's ah. primarily because we've completed most of the tidal works, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, it's just a lot more efficient to work in the daytime rather than rather than. Oh, so there's no night shifts now. No, none at all. None okay. At all. So the first thing that we're coming on to now is um, the lighting and the ducting. Um, well, the ducting for the lighting, should I say? Yeah. Um, so the infantry there, that's going to be concreted tomorrow, and that will form the new plinths for the new lighting control cabinet. Okay. Um, that will go then into the the beat office up up the top that you can see up there. Then. Yeah. Um, and then that will control the light and supply for the link bridge and the underpass section. Ah, okay. So the guys have, we, we had the vacuum excavator in yesterday. Saw that, yeah. Sucking out all the, the kind of existing materials. We do that just because it's safer than digging around and we, we, we don't really know what, what un, uncharted services there were in here. So yeah. you, you, come, you can come across like plastic gas mains and things like that okay. and, and, and you don't really know what's in there. So we, we, we use the vacuum excavator to safely excavate. The guys then come in. They relay sand over the top of the, the ducts that are put in, yeah. and they leave um, marker tape on top of it then, so if anybody does re-excavate it in the future, they know what's you beneath know what's it. There. Okay. Yep. Um, and then the guys are just back backfilling in this area now, so they're putting what, what's called type one, which is the material that you can see there, and then they'll start compacting this. Yeah. And then they'll get ready for surfacing and relaying all of the, the kind of pavers that you can see in front of us here. Brilliant. So we've got the vacuum excavator in tomorrow. That will complete the last stretch between our site hoarding and our site entrance where yeah. it starts and ends and then the last section to do in here then is to run the ducting down underneath the bridge so we're going to have to excavate down the ramp and then yeah. right the way through into the into the underpass section that you can see into there then and then you'll have lighting on all three sides of the underpass yeah and then like i mentioned in the previous tour where we had that rebate of the bridge you'll have a strip light which runs under all three spans of the new bridge that we're casting okay so that's really it in, in, in this area for the for the time being. Okay. Um, just nip you through the fence here quickly. You can just see through the fence now. We're starting to rebuild the, the wall between the um, new channel and the uh, the old channel, which we cut out where we had our temporary channel diversion yeah. before. So there are about two courses up. The white sandbags that you can see are just preventing the water from going into where he's he's kind of working at the minute. Um, and then over the next probably week or so, that wall will get filled in and then we'll fill to the rear of that with concrete ready for the final surface underneath there. Okay. So the birds haven't gone either. Oh no, they're still here. They're still flying around. So we come back underneath the underpass then and we've reinstated uh, the temporary tunnel portal that we created. Yeah. That has to be done for the poor. Okay. The temporary portal will only allow the weight of people and the steel, etc., working above. Yeah. It doesn't allow the weight of the wet concrete. So before we can strip any of this out in here, we need to wait for the concrete to achieve a certain strength which is 15 newtons for the tunnel portal okay. and 20 newtons for the full structure and then we can start stripping everything out there. Right, okay. We typically achieve that in the concrete we use within about a day or two. Okay. So a day for 15, 48 hours for, for 20, 25 newtons. Okay. And that's based off all of the, the strength gain data that we've collected from all the previous pours that we've done. So probably towards Friday, we'll start stripping out some of the full work and some of the deck. Yeah. As we come underneath now, you've got the 70 ton excavator. He's just getting ready to take the L units back over to the right hand side of the stilling basin over there yeah. to start filling in the gap. Now. Oh, okay, that's closing now, is it? Yeah, oh, so, amazing. So there'll be no more plant, well, other than the three ton excavators and some small bits of plant, there'll be no more large items of plant over that side. And we're literally just getting ready for the final surfacing over there then and granite sets. Wow. So you can see. The machine now slewing around. We've got the restricted zone set up in front of us where Keith, we've got our banks on the left hand side over yeah. here, controlling and marshalling the area. And he's going to then take the machine over, and then our engineers are getting set up over there, ready to land the units in. So there's four four units to go in. Yeah. All four of them are down here at the moment. Okay. As you come round then into the stilling basin, you can see we've started to erect the final fence in through this section. So again, stainless steel system. Yeah. It is slightly different, stainless steel. The, the, the system that we're using in this area is slightly different to the rest of the wall. So rather than have solid rails all the way through, they have um, like a wire strand put through after. Okay. So all of the posts get put in, they, they then measure the length of the wires and then they install the wires at a later date. The access gate that you can see on the left hand side here um, is for maintenance purposes to get into the basin. Yeah. Um, 
and then we'll also have some stainless steel hand railing which is bolted onto this wall so you can okay. walk down the steps that you see in front of us. Yeah. So you've got Stoneman Engineering over, over in the background over there. They're just drilling the end plate on, which is where the wires get fixed in, into, okay, into the yeah, unit. Yeah. Uh, and then they'll finish up with the gates and that'll be then pretty much done with this today. Wow. So as you come over to the right-hand side of the basin now, we've pretty much cleared all the area out, ready, ready to start surfacing. The last, the last section of steelwork, which you can see there, that is the, the steelwork which ties the four L units that we're putting in together. Okay. So that's all ready to go for a pour tomorrow. Yeah. And the big lump of concrete that you can see on the right-hand side here. Yeah. I'll just take you over there. Yeah, the big lump of concrete which you can see on the right hand side of here, that's the first of the pores which start creating the steps to go up from this area onto the breakwater and into the uh, onto the marine parade section. Okay. Did you just dip underneath here? This section directly in front of us is where you'll have the new ramp. Yeah. So it'll be a DDA compliant ramp to allow you to get up and onto the marine parade section of the seawall. Yeah. And this will all be finished off with granite sets and have some handrailing up the edge here to to put to, to kind of um, split it apart from the stair units that sort of built wow. on the left hand side. And so that's the old underpass there? Yes. Wow. <laughs> that's changed so quickly. I know. <laughs> the, the, the section that you can see in front of us here, the, right. last, the last recurve unit which is, we were waiting on from Ireland on the last tour, if you remember me saying. Yeah. Um, that, that's now been delivered and installed. That gets tied into all the reinforcement from the, the abutment, which you can see here. Yeah and then that's getting cast with the deck pour, which is currently ongoing at the moment, okay. which I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of the viewers are waiting to see. So I'll take you up into the deck. Just come around the back of the machine. So like I mentioned, they're, they're just clearing off the top of the blocks, getting ready to um, start landing the L units in, in there and get everything um, positioned in and lined and levelled in. Wow. So we're currently about two thirds through. Um, bots are doing all the finishing. Um, yeah. they're, they're the same contractor. We've done all the force work and the form work. Yeah. Um, they're currently doing the, the brush finishing, placement of the concrete. So we've got the team on the right hand side. They're working with a concrete pump, putting the concrete into there. Yeah. And then they have two teams working behind, finishing up the edges, and then also finishing the centre of the deck, which you can see here now. Uh -huh. where you've got the trowel roll running over. So we've got the concrete line set up from the station car park. We're yeah. pumping about 170, 180 metres down into the link bridge here at the moment. We start at the far end and strip the line back as we work through. Um, I, I had seen some comments on your videos earlier about why don't they start from the middle and work both ways. You, you're basically fighting on two fronts and that's yeah. the best way to describe it. Yeah. If, you, if you're progressing like a linear fashion, you can, you can carry on doing work in, in, in a linear manner. So we've got the team that you can see in front of us now placing the concrete. Yeah. The guy with that the kind of poker or the vibrator that you see in the hand there, yeah. that's to compact the concrete right. and, and remove all the air from it. Okay. So you don't end up with any air bubbles in the, in the actual finished product. Yeah. Um, it's not got anything to do with the kind of surface finishes or anything. The surface, the surface finishes come from what they're doing in front yeah, of yeah. what the team are doing behind them. Okay. So as they poker it, the, the concrete becomes more fluid and it kind of spreads out as well. Um, so the, the end of the pour is pretty much where you can see um, the, the, wood the, bit, yeah. the, the wood bit sticking up over there. And that'll tie section B back into the ring parade then. So behind the guys doing the concrete in, We've got two or three lads levelling everything off and then troweling and pointing everything. And then you've got the easy float in the background over there. Once it's all levelled off with it and tamped off to the correct level, they easy float over the top of it then and they let the concrete cure for a little while yeah. to, just so it's not wet while they brush it. After it's cured for a little period of time, Wow, it's after drying it, quite quickly, isn't it? Yeah, so, so after, after it's cured for a little while, yeah. they then come behind with the brush and they do the, they apply the brush finish to the top. We have to brush the surface because it adds slip resistance to it. Yeah. Otherwise, if you just leave the deck like it is on the right-hand side that you can see there, 
when it becomes icy, it just becomes like a, a ice rink. An ice rink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Nice for some in the winter, but not, not for others. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the brackets that you can see here and here, they get removed after. The, the, the timber section that you can see running down here, yeah. um, that also gets removed out after and a drainage channel gets cast into there. So the deck, like I explained last time, has got a cross fall from track to the seaward side yeah. into the drainage channel and then off e either end of the deck into the drainage systems. It's also got a longitudinal fall on the deck from the centre yeah. of the span, like I mentioned previously, which you can just about see as the guys are you coming can, through yeah. the concrete now. Yeah, yeah. So you couldn't really see it as, as well with no. the, as well pre, prior to us placing the concrete, but you do start to see it. And then once this is stripped out and we remove the edge shutters and the temporary brackets, we then start erecting the, the permanent fencing, which goes up off here then. And you know, that's not, that's not going to take a long, long, long while to do. Wow. And the, the weather's held off well so far? So far, yeah, <laughs> so far. Is it going to be an issue if it rains? It, it is, it's, it's not great for the concrete. It, it'll leave like dots in the concrete. But okay. we, we have got methods where we can cover it, yeah. etc. So F Fingers crossed then. Yeah. Looking at, the, looking at the weather forecast, it's been saying it's not going to rain all day. That's good. But there's been the black cloud that you can see yeah. in the background over there, <laughs> yeah. just lo looming around all day. And we've been quite lucky with it, unfortunately, with it at, the, at, at the minute. Yeah. Uh, oh. bit, bit wind. The wind's coming up. Yeah. Um, I'll just take you up on the top of section B. So the granite sets are progressing fairly well. Um, we've got two out of the four bays done on top of here. We've got a gap, the, the, the gap in the middle there and the bay that you can see behind us here. Yeah. Um, and then we're on to the Link Bridge bays then. Yeah. So we've got the gate, grey granite again, marking where, marking kind of, well, dictating where the old arches used to be. Yeah. Um, and then we'll go and have a little look at the lift shaft while we're over here. Wow. So we're pretty much nearly complete with the lift shaft now. Yeah. As you can see on the on the right hand side, we've got the three pile locations there. Yeah. Um, they're all, all broken down down to rock level now. We've cored around the perimeter and pulled the sleeves out. We've just got three more to finish on this side and that's everything done then. Amazing. That's very deep. <laughs> it is very deep, yeah. And we we will um we'll probably be back filled up. To the top of here by the end of next week. Okay. We're, we're looking for. That'd, yeah. be, that'd be the ideal plan. Right, Jack, well, thanks for that tour. It's just going to be a little show of the uh, the concrete and the bridge, but uh, thanks for showing us around the extra bits as well. So um, give the video a like and a share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again, Neil. No worries. Cheers. <laughs>